All right, when people talk about the gap between natural and artificial intelligence, you'll usually hear them say that AI sure is great, but the human mind can still see and do so much more. Well, as scary as it sounds, those days are numbered, and that's thanks to the help of Israeli companies like Cortica. Here to fill us in with details is Cortica's CEO and founder, Igal Reichelgaus. Thank you so much for joining us. <clears throat> All right, so tell us what Cortica does. Yes, so Cortica is an artificial intelligence uh, technology company that is enabling uh, autonomous uh, platforms like autonomous vehicles, uh, cameras, and autonomous drones. Wow, okay, very interesting. So what makes it different from other uh, AIs or attempts yeah, to, to so create AI? Unlike traditional AI technologies, uh, Cortica technology was inspired by the brain, by the cortex, that's where the name comes from. Mm -hmm. And uh, during our original research, we tried to understand the gaps between biological learning and biological neural architectures and the traditional and conventional machine learning technologies that we have today. Interesting. So can you kind of give us, tell us that in an example, mm -hmm. you know, with one of the products that you guys have right now? Sure. So the technology currently is enabling <coughs> different uh, functions like perception, recognition, understanding okay. the surroundings uh, wow. while driving of autonomous cars. It also enables uh, deep analytics using cameras in crowded scenarios when you have a lot of people, different objects, and also drones when you have aerial images with a lot of different details. The technology can recognize objects in real time with the near perfect accuracy. So this is essentially safety mechanism in, in many senses. I mean, every single uh, artificial intelligence product that you've created here mm -hmm. allows you to stay safer if you're flying yeah. and you're a drone or you're on the roads. Interesting. Okay, so where, I mean, right now is is this technology available? Are mm -hmm. you selling it? Tell us about how Sure. It works. So the technology was developed over the last uh, 10 years. It's a very deep technology. It took mm -hmm. a lot of time. We have today a team of over 100 employees in different areas from brain research to deep learning to machine learning, computer science. And currently we're working hard with different partners to productize and commercialize the technology along uh, various platforms. Interesting. And, and where is Cortica being used right now? Mm -hmm. Cortica is behind the different autonomous platforms. So if you hear different progress, autonomous vehicles, mm -hmm. uh, cameras for safety. Very interesting. Okay, this is, this is really, really cool. All right, so in your opinion, what is the coolest aspect of the technology that you guys have created? So the coolest aspect of the technology is its ability to learn on its own, self-learning. Unlike traditional machine learning where you have to train the system and show it a lot of annotated examples, this is a glass, this is a car, this is a cat, and the technology tries to remember, memorize these things, our technology can learn on its own just by clustering huge amount of random data. That's almost scary. I mean, <laughs> this you work in this, so you kind of, you know more about this world than I do, obviously, but I mean, how likely would you say that robots are going, how likely is it that robots yeah. are going to start replacing everything <laughs> in, in life? I mean, hearing this is just mind boggling to yeah, me. Yeah, I, I think the first step is autonomy. So we are uh, experiencing now a shift towards autonomy of machines, whether it's a car or a drone or right. robots. And Cortica, uh, Cortica's mission but, is... But what is next? What comes after that? that I mean, are, are you already looking into other realms? Your company has the technology to do this, right? Yeah, basically we see ourselves as a brain behind all these autonomous platforms. Mm -hmm. So we're not necessarily focusing on a specific vertical or product, but yeah. being more uh, horizontal as the brain be behind all these all developments. Right. Well, Igal, I'm going to want to keep up with what you guys are doing because it's very, very cool. Thank you so much sure. for coming in. Thank you. Thanks for having me.